Chapter 1. How to be a good scout leader. Beware. Being a scout leader is no easy task. Beware. Although it is a position of authority and privilege in the scout movement, very few among the masses have the required calibre for this job. Calibre. Learning how to be one is a lifelong job. One learns on the trail and one should strive to make oneself better each day in order to be better disposed to serve the needs of scouts under one's command. Further, it's one's dedication to the cause which dictates whether one would be able to make a fine scout leader. It is a common sight these days to have leaders who hold very demanding jobs in the public and private sectors and are thus unable to give an appropriate amount of time to activities pertaining to the scouts. How to be a great leader. Even so, there are some who are ready with their mind and body to go the extra mile. This sheer determination is exactly what constitutes the difference between a good and a great leader. Who are scouts for? Lastly, let us not forget whom the scout leader is essentially for. The scouts in a scouting unit. Being a good leader also requires complete and absolute support from the scouts you are serving. Inconsiderate behaviour in front of the scouts and a demeaning style when critically examining a scout's performance are just a few of the factors among many that lead scouts to load the person in charge of them. It is therefore essential that personal benefit or gain, if any, be kept at an arm's length and the welfare of scouts be given preference when it comes to leading them.